Alright, hello and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, just thought I'd show you the job we're doing before we do it. We are taking this cargo from, uh, well, you can see if I, okay, pressing F7 is not working, there we go, F6, taking it to Rotterdam and we're currently in Dusseldorf. So that's, that's the trip for today. Just gonna vibe and drive. Still on the keyboard and mouse, uh, which I would like to change. Um, but it's not happening as of just yet because I don't have a mic arm. When I get a mic arm, which, oh my God, I, Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. They my headlights on here. Need a red light to come. So I can stop and check. Yeah, they're on. That's annoying that I instantly get nicked for that. Just as I'm leaving, I haven't even had time to process what's going on. And it's just like, oi, get your fucking headlights on. Sorry. Yeah, we're just gonna make this delivery. Shouldn't take us too long. Five hours fifty-two in game, which is not too bad to get from Dusseldorf to Rotterdam. And then, uh, yeah, that'd be just the one delivery for today. Cause I'm running quite tight on time. I'm uh, I don't know what day this is going out, but I'm away from Friday to I think either Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to get videos scheduled for every day for between Friday to Tuesday and it's a lot um, I've been recording a lot recently so uh, it's currently six in the morning as I'm doing this and I'm coming off a night of just recording so my throat is hurting um, and plus I have to edit and upload these videos which I'm gonna have to do on Friday morning basically um, and it's already Friday morning I'm gonna have to get off in like a few hours edit and upload these videos uh, well schedule the edit and schedule the videos and then pack to go uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a mad one but uh, I, I can get it done I'm just gonna let ourselves go a little bit quicker on this hill we're gonna stick our headlights on pretty high that just feels like nothing there we go that's what we need and then if I press it again, that that's the same amount as everyone else. Is it like holding it? Okay, I don't even. It's whatever. We've got it on now. Is it maybe it's K that's putting the full beams on? They're like J, yeah, J's flashing them. K is putting them on. Okay, well there we go. We've got our headlights on now. That's what matters most. I sometimes forget the controls of this game. Well, that's fine. And someone's still learning them because I don't play this game all that often. Um, so, like, I sometimes still just need to relearn controls that I already knew from before. That I've just forgotten about. Is this light gonna change? We're looking good to just keep going. No, we're not. Ah, fuck's sake. That's a piss take. I did everything I could there, but it just... That light changed so fucking rapidly. And I have no idea when the light's going to go green either. They're like... Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's really annoying. That's, oh, that's it's taking the piss. But it changed so rapidly that I stuck as much as I could onto break and it still caught me out. That's very annoying. I mean, I'm sure that completely killed my tires. Uh, but I don't think tire wear is a thing that exists on this game. 
I feel like I would know by this point I've driven a long way and never had to change my tyres. So I think it just sort of doesn't include tyre wear. Maybe there's like an option or like a mod to have tyre wear. But I've uh, I've never experienced it. Don't mind me, just a casual 35 kilometers an hour on a 60 road. Alright, I'm turning right. Anyone that's staying true doesn't have to deal with me anymore. Okay, just slide out there. Oh, this guy was right behind me, still following me. Probably hates his life right now. So I want to fucking get past this slow ass lorry. And he will, eventually. Soon enough, we'll be out on the motorway and he'll be able to, be able to overtake me. And we keep going, we wait for this truck to pass. And just slot in behind. Okay, you've come at me way too fucking quick there, buddy. You, fuck you. I'm getting in here. I play so aggressively sometimes on this. I'm just like, alright, fuck you. This is my space and not yours. Suck my ass. You guys remember the fucking suck my ass meme? That was that was a, that's a long time. That was like a vine meme. That was that was a long time ago. There's the guy that got stuck behind us forever. Have fun on your journey. Suck my ass was a long time ago. And it was it was it was quite funny at the time. Would I find it as funny now? Probably not. But it was funny at the time. We all laughed at it at the time, maybe not all of us, but I remember laughing at it at the time. It was just a creativity that people took with it, like people do with now with like audios on TikTok. It was basically the same thing. Vine is creating edits to sounds like suck my ass was the predecessor to TikTok as using other people's audios. I know some people that do massively funny things with other people's audios. It's, it's quite incredible how creative some people on TikTok are. It's also quite incredible how awful other people on TikTok are. It's like the most varied app. You're either getting stunning content or stuff that just makes you want to slam your head into a nuclear warhead. You're just like, bun it. Delete my cranium on some nuclear weaponry or damn there's some good fucking content No in between it feels like there isn't in between because there's a lot of TikTok videos that just Pass me by that. I forget about seconds after I've watched them Now that's the thing with TikTok when you just mindlessly scrolling There's a lot that you just forget about I like, think about how many videos you've if you like use TikTok a lot, think about how many videos you've scrolled past and completely forgotten about. Hundreds probably, if not thousands. And that's just sort of the way it is with that app. And yet there's some that will stick in your mind for years to come probably. Like one of the ones that sticks in my mind is, is a guy in a really shitty, deliberately shitty Joker outfit saying, You say peacock, no one bats an eyelid. You say poop cook, Miss Johnson puts you in the detention chair for a week. And it's just so funny to me. I remember the first time I saw that, I was in fits of laughter for a good half an hour. I just, oh, it was the funniest thing. It was just the word poop cock it was so funny to me. And it's such an immature thing to laugh about, but I have no remorse that I find Poopcock very funny. Because it is very funny. <laughs> it's such a funny fucking sentence. This is you say Peacock and nobody backs an eye. That's an eye. You say Poopcock. Miss Johnson put you in the detention chair for a week. It's the fact he's doing the Joker impression is like, yeah, you get put in the detention chair. <laughs> it's just so much. Oh, you you have to watch it. Search it out if you if you can find it. It's such a funny video. At least it is to me. Uh, there's a lot of, of funny videos on TikTok. There's also a lot of shit. There's also a lot of just like it's a very toxic app as well. 
not quite as toxic as Twitter. Fuck Twitter while we're at it. I know I'm being a bit intense in this for the for playing Euro Drug Simulator, but you know what? I stand by what I say. I hate Twitter, dude. I really do. Like no no messing about. Twitter sucks. Because it's just so open. It's t like it's way too open. I'm honestly for many times I've considered setting my account to private because I just cannot be bothered with people tweeting things at me. I'm like I literally could not care less about what you're trying to say because anyone can respond to you and it's just like the fuck do you mean? It was like uh, the other day um, I responded to a tweet from the official Man United account. Say like they tweeted like 2 a.m. and I was like, "Admin, it's 2 a.m. Go to bed, buddy." And someone just responded with "cry lol." It's just like, what "The fuck are you on about?" Don't mind flexing that I ratioed him with two likes to zero. But yeah, like he was just, I was just like, "What the fuck are you on about, mate?" And it's people like that that would just randomly tweet shit like that at you. It's like, what do you actually mean? Like, what are you actually talking about? I've just said go to bed buddy to someone and you're like cry lol like what what does that mean like why do you feel the need to tweet that like it's just pointless like first of all it makes no sense second of all what did you gain even if it did make sense why like I I don't remember the last time I responded to someone's tweet like that where it wasn't like enough it wasn't an account it was like responding to someone else responding to a tweet. It's been so long. And the people that do it, I did just go away. Like, did I fucking ask you? No. Leave me alone. I didn't say, oh yo, here, people give me some input. If I say like if I respond to a tweet, I'm like, I wonder what other people think about this subject. And then someone else comes in and it's like, well I think this. Calm. If I don't ask for your opinion. Fuck off. And that's the problem with Twitter. People don't just fuck off when you don't ask for their opinion. It's like, um, that's great. Wonderful that you decided to take time out of your day to speak to me. Leave me the fuck alone. And the amount of people I've blocked because they just randomly respond to a tweet and I'm just like, I literally don't want to talk to you at all. Please go away. Is it's it's mad. I have quite a few blogged accounts on Twitter because it's just people that respond to me. I'm like, okay, fuck off. Football Twitter is the worst, though. Football Twitter is the worst of the internet. If you want to go to the worst place on the internet, just just start up a football Twitter account. It is the fucking worst. It's a bunch of children, and they are children. I don't care what age they are. They're just fucking children. Even if they're like 20-something. If you are over the age of 14, and you're tweeting about like if you're making the the penaldo jokes and you're over the age of 14 get a life like even for a 14 year old like mate come on grow up you're 14 you're over 14 and doing that honestly what is wrong what are you doing with your life mate just sort your shit out it wasn't funny when the first person did it and it's not going to be funny when the four millionth person has made that same joke, it's like, oh, oh, Ronaldo takes a lot of penalties, Penaldo, Bruno Penandes, Pessi, Lionel Pessi, like, shut up. No one fucking asked you, and they're always, like, in the response to other, it's like, rival teams' Twitter accounts, it's like, could you be any more obsessed? Like, mate, it's a rival team's Twitter account, who cares? You know how many times I've looked at Manchester City's Twitter account? About twice. Ever. And that was just so I could laugh at them when they post the final score when United beat them so I could be like, ha ha ha, have a little giggle and then move on. I don't respond to the tweets, I don't like the tweets, I don't interact at all. This is a rival club, yet these people have their notifications on and just sit on Twitter all day just trying to ratio people and it's like, come on, get a life man. Like, at least just go play FIFA you're really that desperate for some football content just play FIFA mate I would say play pro clubs with your mates but if you're on football Twitter you probably don't have any friends because who would want to be friends with someone that has a football Twitter account I let's just be honest here but I'm not saying my Twitter account is is the greatest thing 
around. I'm not saying I have a great account, but every time I'm like, damn, my account is shit, I can look at football Twitter and be like, nah, I'm alright. It is just, it's, it's the worst. I hate it so much. Oh, fuck, I need to be in this lane. Jesus. That was a, <laughs> that was a very sharp change. But yeah, no, I... I hate football Twitter, man. And it's like, being a football fan, I have to, like, see it around. I always see it, because, you know, like, read a tweet from from a football club that I follow, or, like, something like that, and then every reply will just be these fucking kids. And it's just like, what are you doing? And there's so many. I saw one account, I can't remember who it was, who it was, I think it was like a Spurs fan or something, whose pinned tweet was how many accounts they've been blocked by. But that's not something to be proud of. You're just going around, showing off how many people think you're a cunt, like it's making your dick bigger, and it's really not. Like to any actual normal person seeing that, they're like, wow, what a bad fucking person, what an annoying twat. Like, what a prick. Yeah, these, these football Twitter kids think getting blocked by football accounts is some great thing. It's some amazing feat. And it's it's really not. It's, it's not something to be proud of. It's not something to show off. That you've incessantly tweeted at a, a, a different club that's nothing to do with your own so much to the admin of that Account has just been like, okay, I can't even be bothered with this person anymore, let's block them. And they were flexing it and blocked by some like 8th tier side. It's like, I think they got blocked by Marine when Spurs played them. It's like, what are you doing? Like, it's an 8th tier side just trying to have a bit of a laugh because they're playing Spurs in the FA Cup. And there's kids trying to get blocked by them. By like, oh, your team shit, uh, small club, small club. It's like, mate, they're an eight tier side. They literally have a fucking bin man in their team. Funny enough, when that man takes one person's bins, he's doing more in his life than anyone on football Twitter's done it combined. Like, I hate it. I truly do hate it. They are the worst of the worst football Twitter kids. Absolutely the worst. And they, those people make me embarrassed to be a football fan. Because when I say I'm a football fan, I instantly think people are going to think I'm like that. And not once have I ever tried to ratio someone. And not, I don't think I ever will unless it's very, very sarcastically having a joke with a mate. No, like if I, if I joke with a mate being like, uh, ratioed, and then go into all the accounts I have a hold of and like my tweet. I'll do that because it'll be funny. But that's like a joke between friends. What these football Twitter kids are doing is not a joke between friends. It's just annoying and it's just incessantly bothering other people. It just. I, I just don't like them. Really don't like them. They're annoying. They're just, I mean, they're just kids that spend all day on Twitter. It's like, come on, man, just do something else. You tread what happens when the summer holidays roll around. They don't have to be in school for seven hours a day. And what? Because they're all... They're all either too young to have a job, or if they're old enough to have a job, they're probably unemployed because they sit on Twitter all day trying to ratio people. You know, if I was... If I worked somewhere and I looked up this potential employee and found their Twitter account, and they all they tweeted out was trying to ratio people and... We in a rival football clubs of like, and this is on we're not hiring. Great. Even if they had all the qualifications for the job, I'd be like, okay, we're not hiring this kid. Like my my tweets aren't squeaky clean, alright? I've said some that has some stupid shit on Twitter before. But I think I'm alright. Also, any future employer is not gonna know, is not gonna be able to figure out my Twitter handle, because I'm not gonna say. They were like, oh, do you use Twitter? I'd be like, oh, I have one account, but I, like, never use it. They were like, oh, fair enough. But yeah, I found this one account, but, like, you haven't tweeted on it in, like, years. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's right. Because I do actually have an account under my actual name. Which, no, you can't have. Don't even think about asking. And if you already know it, then <laughs> you probably just know me in real life. 
which I like never tweet out on that account. Like it's been so long since I've tweet. I think I tweet like once a year. I do like my annual tweet from that account. I think my last one was free my man's. And then when Bobby Schmurda got released from jail, I said they freed my man's. <laughs> Just as a laugh. Uh, that was kind of fun. And that's like literally all I use it for. And if they're like, what does that mean? I'm like, it's just an inside joke with some friends. And I'm like, fair enough. And not question it. It's fine. Uh, am I going to need to break here? Probably. However, I could just like switch lanes. Is what I'm going to do instead. But yeah, they're like, yeah, Twitter's awful. Which is why I just it's not my main social media anymore. It used to be. For years Twitter was my main. And then I realised like it was just not good for me to be spending so much time on Twitter. So I uh so I'm not anymore. I now use my own personal Instagram a lot more, which again, no you can't have it. If you know it, you know me in real life, and that's the only way you're gonna know it. You don't know me in real life you're not gonna know my Instagram and that's just how it's gonna be I actually have two Instagram accounts I did have three but I deleted one because I wasn't using it so it be like that um oh hello I should break here that was a I just realized we're like right close to uh to finishing the delivery, that's how long I just talked about how much I despise football Twitter kids. Is that I've almost completed my delivery. Just in the time it took me to complain about them and how awful they are to see. Okay, then I go up to the stop sign, I stop, wait for these few cars to pass. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for this guy to pass. Quite a few cars need to wait to pass. Damn, of course I get stuck in a big old line of traffic. Once, okay, so this guy's turning down there, which means I can go. I'm actually helping, I'm doing this, mumbling this up to my stuff. Because it's gonna help me when I, because I'm learning to drive in real life now. Um, so like I'm doing that to to help myself and be like, so this is what I'd do if it was if I was actually driving a vehicle. I'm learning to drive a car, not a truck. So, and I'm learning in a beat up old Honda Civic, and I would not, I'd never learn in anything else. I love Honda Civics, dude. Almost as good as the 1992 Honda Record. I'm tempted to get myself a 1992 Honda Record just for the hell of it. But I also kind of want a, a, like a, another car It's not a 92 Honda Accord. I probably will get, like, end up getting something on that ilk when I finally do uh, actually get my own car, but that's that's still a long way away. I haven't even finished learning to drive. I haven't, I've got my theory test done. I've not got to my practical. I just feel this light changing on me. No? Okay. About turned a little too early here. Yeah, I'm alright. And then. Been around to here. Like that. I'm in such an awkward position. Let's just get it parked for me. That was good, though. Job completion to excellent. We love to see it. Very, very nice. That was good. That was fun. Anyway, thank you for joining me on my little rant while playing Euro Truck. I do love to play a bit of Euro Truck. Anyway, that'll be everything for today. Getting some good money though, actually thinking about it. So I might might be buying some more stuff soon. Anyway, that will happen in due time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later.